Hey, good morning, North Coast Church. My name is Austin Payne, and I'm uh, one of the high school pastors on the Vista campus. And uh, today, for our daily dose, we're opening up to Second Peter, kind of near the end of your Bible. And I heard this story recently, and it kind of blew me away of this married couple that had taken their boat out on a beautiful day off the coast of Florida, and they were fishing. And on those beautiful sunny days like you do, it, the, the water looks inviting, and uh, the woman dives in with uh, flippers and a mask and a spear gun and she cries out to her husband Robert and says hey I'm, I'm just gonna swim around for a little bit before she knows it she kind of looks up she's 50 yards away from the boat she cries out as she realizes she's kind of been caught in this uh, this riptide and Robert being a champion swimmer he dives in he swims after her. by the time he gets to her he's 100 yards away from the boat and him realizing what's happened they're both being caught and kind of drifting further and further away from this boat he looks at her and he says I want you to do one thing just stay above the surface of the water. Just You, you just got to tread water as he starts swimming hard against this current back towards the boat. Six hours go by before he s sees the boat off in the, in the distance and the, the tide turns and he's able to reach the boat. But the sun's gone down at this point. He grabs a couple of other crab boats that are out there and says, you got to help me find my wife. In the darkness of the ocean, the vastness of it, he doesn't find her. He goes to shore. Uh, he doesn't sleep a wink that night. The next morning, the owner of a local motel says, I know these waters well, goes out with them, and they find her 20 miles offshore. So she's drifted 16 miles over the course of the night. They find her alive, still just subtly treading water, floating on her back, doing everything she can just to keep her head above the surface of the water. And this story blew me away thinking about this woman not really doing much, simply floating, trying to keep her head above water, and yet how far she drifted away 16 miles further simply by floating and keeping her head above the surface of the water. I think uh, Peter calls out us for as almost these spiritual drifters in, in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5. Right before this, he said, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. Uh, he's, he's talking to the believer that has rejected the corruption and the deceitfulness of sin and has leaned into God's power that's given to us to live this godly life. And he says, for this reason, in verse 5, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge, knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to godliness mutual affection, to mutual affection love. Lift, just rants off this list of what we should be adding to our life as believers. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, that's key, increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. But whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they've been cleansed from their past sins. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble, and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Man, he's, he's calling out the believer saying, man, you want to be effective, you want to be productive, add to your walk with the Lord God, godliness, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance. Uh, it, it's this list of mutual affection, love. Like We need to be increasing in these things. This is Robert swimming against the tide towards the boat saying, man, even if it doesn't feel like I'm moving sometimes, I feel like I'm on this treadmill and I'm, I'm working hard. I'm, I'm diving into God's word. I'm, I'm showing up in community. There's these aspects of, of what I'm pursuing in my walk with the Lord and, and I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. And yet there's this tide that you're, we're swimming against it. And yet the opposite is uh, the drifting. And if we're just not really showing up and we're not really, and I'm not walking away from God, but I'm not really walking towards God either. The scripture tells us that we'll be unproductive and ineffective in our knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ if we're not daily adding to our walk with Jesus. So I think the question is, man, which, which direction are you moving? Which direction are you moving today? Are, are you walking towards God and pursuing relationship with Him? Or are you just kind of drifting, just trying to make it? And I, I don't think anybody ever drifted into excellence. If we talk about physical fitness, if we talk about our finances, if we talk about work, uh, whatever it may be, especially in our walks with Jesus, we don't drift into excellence. We don't drift into discipline. We don't drift into effectiveness and productivity for God's kingdom. It takes adding and increasing in goodness and knowledge and self-control and perseverance and godliness and mutual affection and in love. Uh, let's, let's ask ourselves, which direction are we moving today? And let's push hard towards that. Thanks, North Coast.